killing bugs and not be killing my people! That's unacceptable! Okay, so. Oh, I saw that, Emai. I saw. Okay, so. To my understanding, bug infestations only show up in areas where you've done mining. So I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to try to avoid building ourselves into a mountain. Now, I know building into a mountain is what most people do, but, like, we can build walls for raiders to funnel them into a specific spot. We can build fire breaks to deal with fires. We can regulate the temperature to deal with cold or hot. But when it comes to bugs, if we build ourselves into a mountain in any regard, or have a mined in area inside of our walls, the bugs can just sort of show up wherever they want. So, we're going to try to make sure we don't have a mining area inside of our safe zone. As if anywhere is truly safe in RimWorld. But that is awesome, Emai. Where did you get it? Was it like an art book store? Was it some kind of a con? Carcinoma? Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a great person. Prostophile and jealous. Wow, oh, look at those social skills! But no! No! Oh, they're kind. Alright. The bugs only show up if you don't have proper venting or lighting. Oh! 
I did not know that. Lighting, huh? So they're kind of in a way like monsters in Minecraft. If you can't see what's going on over there, bugs might show up. All right. Okay. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Now, wait a minute. What can you do besides shooting? Actually, they can't really do a lot of anything other than shooting. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that being someone in our colony. So... Yo! Everlele! Thank you so much for the follow! I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, coffee cheers to you. Whoa, hi, research. Ooh, okay. Um, you know what? This person is actually, this person is great. Now, unless, of course, we end up with a bunch of drones, we are playing against Randy Random. <laughs> Thanks, Everlele. I like it. It keeps my head warm. And it's so fashionable. Uh, they can shoot. Hmm. You know, I guess we can have this person be our main miner. They'll get better at it. They get some joy from it and a better skill gain. What about Chung Senpai? I ain't got no dances on this team. Alright, so right now, we basically, we have someone who can do construction and growing and research. This person is gonna be our miner, I guess. So I suppose we need a doctor who can also cook? I would like a cooking of at least six, along with a medicine of six. Preferably a flame in the cooking, because they're going to be doing a lot of that. But I know I'm asking for kind of a lot. Oh, good lord. I know. I'm looking at that and going, well, as long as Randy Random doesn't decide to send psychic drones after us. Have I ever done the tribal start? The tribal start is actually my favorite start. Um, I usually do tribal, which is why I'm now doing the crash landing. Um, the only thing in terms of editing a scenario I've done was, um, Cannibal World. Ah, this'll work, I guess. They'll get better at it? But, um, yeah, we started off with a tribal colony, and then we edited it so that 100% of people had cannibalism. That was actually a pretty fun world. Childhood a mute. Alright, well, they'll make us some good food. Oh my god, wait a minute. Incapable of dumb labor, social, firefighting, and cleaning... Also incapable of cleaning and social. Well, looks like this is our social butterfly, so we're going to start off as we usually do with these things. Killing my mods. Alright, who's going to be mute? Dr. L.S. The medicine of three. That's our main doctor. And Gorp, the system engineer tech head. I'm not feeling good about this one. Negatory, Ima. I don't need no Chung in my colony. I don't need his death on my head. Three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens, ripping metal, barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. Alright. Alright, so starting with these next to us, that's kind of good. Um, 
Oh, it's still paused. Bam! So in terms of animals, okay. We ended up with one animal who's useful. Great. Let's do a quick look around the map, because there's always extra supplies in this scenario that drop down. There's those. I know. I actually like the cats more than I like the Yorkies, because at least cats, like, do their own thing. I see them go out hunting all the time. Uh, they do what cats do best, which is ignore everything you wish they would do. I would rather have a cat because then I just completely ignore them and pretend like they don't exist. I just make sure they have some food. It's like a real cat. With Yorkies... Ugh. You expect something from them because you can train them and they're useless. Just useless. Well, I guess we're gonna build in this area? Let's assign our work orders first, though. I'm assigned a four to Gorp's... No, yeah, a four to that. Just so that if Dr. LS gets hurt, Gorp can do something about it. Although everyone has some pretty atrocious meds. Um, let's set them all to actually get bed rest immediately so that if I don't notice an injury, they'll go and sleep. And then a doctor will take care of it and we won't get infections. And the second person you've heard make that argument? Well, to be fair, I also own two cats, so I might be slightly biased. Alright, so Dr. LS, doctors, handles, animals, and cooks. This is good. Cat the Mighty Hunter is doing a whole lot of nothing, really. I guess they can help out with growing. They have a passion for it, so they will get good at it eventually. And when it comes to Gorp... Oh, you know what? They should actually cut plants. Oh, that's right. They're supposed to be our miner also. Which they will get good at it eventually. <laughs> no pressure, cat. Make sure the place stays clean so nobody goes crazy. Do we at least have all of our bases covered? So where people might do something. I think so. Alright, so... Ooh, silver right off the bat. Compacted uh, machinery, steel... Alright, so even though there's not a lot of mountainous terrain on this map, we do have a pretty fair start with some of it. Still useless? They are. Our cats, a couple of days ago, learned how to open my bedroom door. And so uh, now they've gotten in the habit of, if I don't get up when they think I should get up to feed them, they open the door and come in and dance around on me and my girlfriend. Or my girlfriend and I? I don't know what to say. Um... Oh, let's put fours in all of these other things, just to make sure that they're doing something. Or to at least make sure I can tell the closest person to prioritize what needs to be prioritized. Except LF, be LS, because he's uh, a brawler. Zone, area. Now, the thing I'm trying to decide right now is, do I even... I don't think I want to set up over here. This is exposed in every single direction. I'm kind of thinking about starting over here. Mmm, cookie maker, yeah. We actually... One of the cats loves water so much. If you try to do dishes, he'll, like, try and get into the sink. After you take a shower, he'll go, like, roll around in the bathtub. Do we want to use these buildings? I'm thinking about coming down here. The only problem is I've never built right at the edge of the map before. And I have a fear that 